everywhere Jesus went, he was undoing what the devil had done in sin. So when the woman came up to him and touched him because she was bleeding her entire life, he didn't just stop the bleeding, he undid her shame. When the woman was caught in adultery and they drag her before the courts, Jesus heals her reputation. He heals her heart because he undoes all the sad things. When he touched the man who was blind, he gave him eyes to see not just the world, but to see Jehovah Rapha, his healer. He undoes all the sad things. There will be a day where Jesus will undo all of the pain you feel, all of the pain you have ever felt. So why can we trust? Why can we trust that in our pain is the pathway to God's healing presence? Because his pain was the pathway and is the pathway for God's healing present. That's the entire point of the Bible. It's the entire point of the entire story. Because we ask the question, why is this happening? Why is my family falling apart? Why am I getting divorced? Why are my children wandering from me? Why is my child sick? Why does my mom have cancer? Why is there sickness running through my body? Why is there war? Why is there torment? And we could probably give you some kind of an answer. Why did my friend die in a car accident? Why did I come home? My father had a heart attack. Why is this happening? And I could maybe give you an answer that would satisfy you for a moment. But what I can tell you what I know for a fact is that in your pain, God enters your pain. That's the story. He enters into your pain. In pain, we cling to the hope, to the one who fights every power. He takes on all of our infirmities. He becomes every disease. The Bible says that he became our diseases. He becomes the sickness. He becomes the lie. He becomes the violence. He becomes every single sin and disease. And he takes it in, into himself, all of the darkness and death itself. He pays the price. He cancels the record of debt. He absorbs every plague. He bears every curse and church in every way. Jehovah Rapha does for you and I what we could not do for ourselves. He is life at work. And on the cross, he invites you to be healed. So in pain, you are actually joining with him in the cross. And there on the cross, when Jesus says, it's all done, and he says, it is finished. What he is saying is, it is now being reversed. The prototype is here. The new creation has started. I am reversing every single thing. It is finished because behold, I do a new thing. This is the entire point of the story. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. In pain, we cling to Jehovah Rapha, praying that we could one day sing the old song, the hymn of Martin Luther that was sung by the saints. Did we in our own strength confide, our striving would be losing. We're not the right man on our side, the man of God's own choosing. You ask who that may be, Christ Jesus, it is he. Lord Sabaoth, his name, from age to age the same, and he will win every battle. Jehovah Rapha, the ultimate and final healer, who by his stripes we are healed from the sin of our hearts, the lies that cause us to reject him and our hearts that don't trust him with our pain. And yet by his grace, he leads us to springs of living water where he cleanses us and brings us into life and beauty and wonder and love and moves us from bondage to freedom, from sickness to healing, from sorrow to joy, from mourning to dancing and from death to life. He fulfills the prophetic words of the prophet Isaiah chapter 35 verse five. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap like a deer and the tongue of the mute sing for joy for the waters break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. God has a purpose for your pain. Our pain and suffering today may be the result of our own sin, the sin of others, or perhaps the ripple down effect of sin that has entered the human story from the garden. And God will allow us to come to the end of ourselves. Why? Because if pain is not exposed, it cannot be healed. It cannot be healed. So in pain, we lift our eyes to Jehovah Rapha and see that he is undoing all of the darkness, all of the vileness, all of the wickedness, all of the disease. And he is moving us into the waters that break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. 